So you've got a new aquarium. How to get from this to this. The 55-gallon aquarium is a hobby standard, and even though it's four feet long, it should not be intimidating to first-timers. With a few simple design tips, along with driftwood and plastic plants from the fish store, you'll have a beautiful aquarium in no time. Once you have the tank in place, you'll want to add the filter hoses and the heater. Be sure to leave enough space between the tank and the wall to accommodate any filtration. I'm using a canister filter, but a large hang-on back filter will work just as well. All canister filters have trays to hold media. In this case, one for foam pads to remove particles from the water, one for biomedia, which will hold beneficial bacteria to break down fish waste, and a top tray for carbon or chemical filtration. ChemiPure is a great aftermarket upgrade. It comes in its own bag and can be placed in a top tray or hang on back filter. Place your trays in the canister and attach hoses now while the tank is empty so you can still move things around if you need to. In my case, I'm using an old filter I've had around the house for years now. It still works great. Yours will be much newer, much shinier, but for my purposes for this demonstration, this one works just fine. But the filtration isn't really the most important part in terms of the demonstration. What's really interesting is how we're going to make the tank look. First, add the substrate. I'm using a natural looking substrate that's also good for live plants, which I may convert to later. EcoComplete is one of several good brands on the market designed to provide plant nutrients. It's also packed wet so you won't have cloudy water from gravel dust. Slope the gravel so it's deeper in the back than the front. Next, we'll add the hardscape. In this case, four pieces of Mapani driftwood from Africa. It's dense so it won't float when water is added. I like to have two focal points that divide the tank into thirds. It's best if one piece is also at least two-thirds the height of the aquarium. Place the other pieces to your taste, remembering plants will fill in later, and that fish appreciate hiding spaces. With the driftwood in place, you can add your plants. I chose a selection from the big box store, making sure to buy multiples of almost every variety. As you'll see, bunching them together makes a more striking display. Use tall plants in the back to soften the corners, hide equipment, and define the space two to three matching plants per corner. Medium height plants go between the tall plants and the front of the tank. Look for opportunities to create contrast by putting reddish colored plants in front of green ones or vice versa. Shorter plants go in the foreground. These often come in large squares that can be cut up in order to give you multiple options for low greenery in front. Once your bunches have been placed, fill in some of the open spots with extra plants. As far as your fish are concerned, you can't have too many. With the aquascape in place, it's time to add water. Pour water onto a plate in order to keep the flow from washing out your hard aquascaping work. Or buy a python, which allows you to connect to your sink. It's quicker, allows you to control the water temperature, about 75 degrees, and later you can use it to vacuum the bottom and do water changes. Once the tank is full, you want to add starter bacteria. This concept is just a few years old, but it allows you to add fish right away. Several companies are now marketing it, and it's a lifesaver. The bacteria will multiply and break down waste in the tank so you don't get a fish-killing ammonia spike after a few weeks. The reason most people have said, quote, I just can't keep fish. Nitrifying bacteria technology is a game changer for the home aquarium. In addition, you'll add water conditioner to remove chlorine, chloramine, and heavy metals. Now you have a tank that's ready for fish. Don't add too many at once, and remember, smaller fish produce less waste than bigger fish. 
Even with the nitrifying bacteria, you'll still want to let the system mature slowly so the fish don't outpace your biological filtration. Float your fish in the bag for 10 to 15 minutes till the water temperature is the same in the bag and the tank. Then gradually add tank water so parameters like pH can equalize as well. After about half an hour, place a net on a bucket and pour the fish into the net, letting the dirty bag water go into the bucket for later disposal. Place the net in the tank and let the fish swim out. If you've done it right, the fish should swim happily without darting, hiding, or otherwise looking stressed. Give serious consideration to getting a group of schooling fish like neon tetras. A whole school of fish is among the prettiest sights you can see in your tank. Then, add your lights, sit back, and enjoy your new aquarium.